Hey everybody and welcome to the second installment of my Skyline series. I just did the first one. Second movie in Skyline series is called Beyond Skyline. Stay tuned. Alright, so here's the deal with this review. I didn't even bother writing my board up because this movie is not worth the time and effort for me to do it. This movie is pure trash to me. I I understand people like this movie and I really don't know why. So here's what happens. This movie starts off basically the same time and location as the previous Skyline. We're in LA when this alien invasion happens. We even see a lot of the same scenes from that movie. I mean identical. I watched the two back to back and I'm like wait that is exactly the same footage from the other movie where they nuke the the, the ship, it comes to the ground, they all crash. Except this time you've got um, Mark, Frank Grillo, that ought to give you a clue, his kid Trent, and this train driver named Audrey who suddenly develops, you know, commando skills out in the field. <sighs> There's a train driver. This, what? I don't know. Um, one thing leads to another. They pick up this blind veteran guy named Sarge. He's kind of funny. They should have kept him around longer. They pick him up, they all get abducted into the spaceship, right? They run across Jared and Elaine from the first movie. And this is where you're like, oh, okay. Elaine's baby, that she just found out she was pregnant, right? Is like full term now. And this has been like a matter of like an hour or something. Or hours, you know, it hasn't been that long. And she's like already full term getting ready to give birth. And you're like, well, okay, that's weird. Number two, Elaine, Scotty Thompson did not come back for this movie. And I don't blame her one damn bit. Um, so the Elaine in this movie is a different actress. And even Jared, there was a scene they had to reshoot, I guess, from... Instead of... They used the other footage, but I guess they couldn't use his likeness without having to pay him, I suppose. So they get another actor to do that part where they pull his brain out of his head. Whatever. Jared, you know, the big orange eye alien shows up. Um, let's Mark deliver this baby. Oh, guess what? The baby's growing, you know, exponentially too. Yeah, okay, so they try to get this baby off the ship. Jared Alien blows himself up, makes the ship crash. We're not in L.A. anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore. We're in Laos. Laos? Really? We had... What? Why are we in Laos? What was the decision? What, did they just take a map and throw a dart and... Oh, we hit, we hit you know, Laos. Oh, okay, that's cool. I, sure, Laos. So they run across these two, um, these two, they're, you know, native Laotians. Their name was uh, Kanye and Sua, I think. Not like I said, I didn't write this down because I don't care. I'm trying to get this over with. Um, these two are just ridiculous in their own right. I mean, they're like, they land in the middle of this little conflict between these two and the police who've turned into in, since this invasion started you know mere hours ago they've like started running around pillaging the towns and stuff the police have these two take you know this group hard to dies whatever they take the baby uh audrey and mark oh and trent's still on the ship he got his brain sucked out oh sorry trent um but he he turned orange like jared did which is important later they take the baby into this temple underground complex where these it's like what they took them to the laotian bat cave i don't what the hell where they got all this equipment and stuff and it's it's like a leftover you know tunnel from vietnam war or something i don't know this thing is just bizarre and although it's so random and all over the place and you're just left going what the hell is going on it's just acting is bad the writing is bad the production is terrible i mean you still had the cgi from the other movie which okay that was fair the aliens now are big rubber suits they, at the end of this movie they show this blooper reel and it's like oh those weren't cgi aliens they were in rubber suits and they show them it's like why would you put this at the end of your end of your movie where they show these suits falling apart and they just show just how badly it was done it's just like oh my god why would you even bother doing that what was the point of showing that to you but anyway the aliens want the baby back too insert um, baby back rib song um they want it back the kid's like eight years old now you know sure so the big fight ensues lots of 
literal kung fu fighting thing going it's like what the hell you know it's like just you just look at this and you're just like what the hell who the hell came up with this like it was they pulled little pieces of puzzle pieces out of a out of a jar when they were drunk and said okay yeah this is what happens next <sighs> trent shows up gets like you know um converted orange the little kid finds a power source or something. I'm not sure. I kind of gave up paying attention at this point. Turns it orange. This thing, she sends a ball, you know, what used to be the blue light. They'd look in, you'd get sucked in. It was this orange light now. Boom, all these slave aliens suddenly turn orange. They're now the good guys. The end. Oh, wait, it's not the end, though. Because a few times in this movie, we've seen this girl on this hospital bed... We figure out, oh, that must be, yeah, and it's the kid, like, 10 years later, so she must be, like, 90 years old. No, apparently the aging level's off or something, conveniently. They show her taking off into some spaceship. We're going to go take the fight to them, which is where I think this third movie is going to go. <sighs> if this third movie is anything like this one, I almost don't want to watch it. I... This was awful. This was just terrible, guys. You know, people talk about Frank Grillo being a good action star or whatever. He's no Van Damme. He's no Steven Seagal. He's not even, um... It's a big Russian guy. I can't remember his freaking name. You know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, him. Um, he's not. He's not Stallone. I don't know what... I, I don't know what they're doing. I'm giving Beyond Skyline a 1.9. This is the first, I think it's the first one, one and change review I've given. This is just bad. It's just terrible. It's awful. I can't, I'd hope I never have to watch it again, to be honest. I almost expected to see, you know, the little silhouettes in the corner for the movie. 1.9, Beyond Skyline. I almost don't want to watch Skylines now. Like this video. Don't like this video. Interact with this video. Leave a comment. Do something. Subscribe, please. Thank you. Thanks for watching.